Space. Would you like to tell us a little bit about uh, space? Well, we just got back from the space flight. Uh, Apollo 11, the first walk on the moon, and let me tell you, it was amazing. Although, I was the second one to walk on the moon, so it's not that big of a deal, but Neil was a very good sport about it and let me get off at the same time. So, of course, it was the first manned space flight to Apollo. The plan was to get up into space, then orbit around the moon, collect some readings on there, but then land on the moon. And we managed to complete that mission pretty well. But one of our astronauts didn't get to land on the moon, and he was pretty upset about that. But, yeah, we, we accomplished Kennedy's goal. May he rest in peace. I'm Harry Reporter, and this is Ostrich von Rocketstein. Hello. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about space, the final frontier? Well, space is a very big goal and a very big place that we in NASA have been trying to get to for many years. One of the main programs that we've been working on to get into space is the Apollo program. The Apollo program has been going on for 11 years, from 1961 to we're proposing it to go to 1972. There will be 33 flights in all, and 22 of them will be unmanned, simply satellites or small rocket launches trying to test spacecraft. But 11 of them will be manned, some orbiting, some going to the moon, like the Apollo 11, a very major, very major accomplishment for us completing Kennedy's goal for landing a man on space, landing a man on the moon <laughs> on space, and then returning him to Earth. And the Apollo program was a major undertaking. When Kennedy said that we would do anything to get to the moon in 1961, he was giving a big goal to the American people, and a lot of people wanted to see it done, but many people didn't think it could be done. In fact, it was the largest commitment of resources, which is $24 billion in all, by any nation in peacetime, not during war. And at its peak, the Apollo program employed 400,000 people and the support of over 200,000 firms and different universities and offices. So it was a very big undertaking, of course. And the good thing is, with all this money that we've been using to put into it, none of our launches have exploded on the launch pad, which was a previous very big problem. Only for North Korea. Oh, yes, only for them. <laughs> they're, they're not very good with their rockets, are they? <laughs> nah. They can take a letter from Werner von Braun's book, although he's the reason we exploded many times. <laughs> but there was only one error in flight, and that was Apollo 13, with an explosion of an oxygen capsule. It's a very good movie. So, that's the main gist of the Apollo program. Full of new technology and before Kennedy's speech, we had only put one man into space and he wasn't even orbiting, just went into space for about an hour. <laughs>